Yeah, so when I was doing my, my PhD, I had two things going at once. Uh, I really wanted to build a faster micro mouse um, because our horrible, you know, the kit that we'd got went real slow. And when we got to international competitions, it was kind of embarrassing how slow it was. Um, so then, you know, we built Kuki 2 uh, and uh, eventually went on to, to Kuki 3. So that was kind of one stream, not my PhD at all, uh, but lots of fun. Uh, you know, got other students engaged and um, really learned a lot about making machines that moved really fast. My proper PhD was then um, exploring these ideas of intelligence. How can we make a machine, again, just using some really simple principles that can display low level intelligent behavior without using kind of these AI tricks, how can it more naturally emerge from some very simple principles? And that was, you know, when I built Corgi, just a, a robot that in its world, it, it was trying to eat tennis balls. So it wanted to find tennis balls and pick them up, but it didn't want to run into anything. So it didn't want to run into obstacles. It's a pretty simple intelligence paradigm. It's, you know, kind of lifelike, if you like, artificial lifelike. But I wanted the robot to learn it for itself. I wanted to use machine learning um, to be able to do this. So the, um, the machine learning aspects of it, again, you know, we're talking the early 90s here, it was just starting to become a field where there were some amazing tricks being pulled out that could do different things. And that's what I sought to combine with my robotics.